All right, let's do number 20 now from your homework on page 149. Uh, number 20, so I see parentheses. Let's go ahead and distribute that 4 into the parentheses. So I'm going to have 8z equals 4 times 2z is 8z, and 4 times 1 equals 4. So I always like moving, uh, well, first I have combined like terms. I have 8z and 8z. They're on different sides of the equal sign. So that means I need to do the opposite when I move one of them. Now, let's, I always like putting my variables to the left. So let's move the 8z on the right to the left. So we subtract 8z from one side and we do it to the other. The 8z's on the right will cancel, but hold on. Take a look at the left. It's 8z minus 8z, which 8 minus 8 is 0z equals 4. And anything times 0, it doesn't matter if it's a variable or a number, anything times 0 will equal 0. So I'm going to have 0 equals 4. Now, 0 equals 4, once we get to a point where our variable disappears because it just cancels out of the equation, we have to ask ourselves this question. Is this statement true? Does 0 equal 4? And in this case, the answer is no, 0 doesn't equal 4. So in this problem, the answer is no solution. There's no number that I can plug into my equation to make it true. So in this case, uh, this only happens when the variable goes away because we cancel it out. So the answer in this case is no solution.